guys, it's coffee time. And I don't have Sherlock cat yet. Buh. They told me, they were like, okay, we'll call you in the morning and let you know whether or not you can pick up your cat today. And I was like, sweet. So I'm waiting all day. I waited until like three, which is not all day, but they close at like five. So I waited until like three o'clock and then I called them. And the lady answered, and I was like, hi, my name is blah, 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 and I want the blah, 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 and you said you would blah, blah, blah me. So I was just checking in to see if everything went okay. And the lady was completely silent on the other end. And she goes, um, it looks like maybe we called your landlord, but there was no answer, so, um, hold on, I will, tr I will try right now. I will call you back. And I was like, okay. You know when somebody tells you something like that, and you can tell that they're lying? <laughs> it was definitely the sort of situation where I was put on hold so that they could find my paperwork. And then she talked about the paperwork as though it had been buried for, like, the second they got it. They were like, like, just tossed it somewhere. And she was like, oh, we, def we definitely tried to get a hold of this person. Maybe. But, um oops and I was like so then they called they called me back within like 20 minutes and they were like hey so uh yeah um looks like everything checks out so uh feel free to come anytime tomorrow and pick up your cat I was like okay okay I can, I can wait until tomorrow that's fine okay so waiting until tomorrow and then I can go pick up Sherlock cat but in the meantime, uh, we went to, there's, uh, there's like a pet outlet that we happened to go by today. <laughs> and we were, when we were driving by it, we were like, hmm, it was just Ro and I in the car, which is deadly. We were driving by and we were like, huh, mm hmm, So we went in there because, uh, I wanted to get some sort of like a scratch pad or like a, a cheap tower or something for, for Sherlock Cat, and we went in there, and there was a dude who was, you know, trolling around going, Hey, you guys need help? No? Okay, cool. Hey, you guys need help? Okay, cool. So, we're walking around in there, and this dude comes up, this dude, this dude comes up, and he's like, Hey, do you guys need help? I was like, Well, I was wondering, do you guys happen to have cat towers? Because at this point, Ro and I had walked up and down a couple aisles. And he was like, no, we don't. And we were like, ah, oh, dang, that's okay. Thanks so much anyway. And we start to walk away. And then he goes, well, actually, it was like a magical moment where I like slow spun around. I was like, yes, actually what? He was like, well, we actually got one that came in on accident. Totally like a misshipment for some reason. It showed up on one of the trucks and we have no idea why it was like, we literally only got one and no one was supposed to order it. And I was like, oh, are you guys allowed to sell it then? And he was like, yeah, yeah, hold on. Let me, I'll, I'll show it to you. I'll tell you how much it is. I'll show it to you. And if you want it, it's totally yours. I was like, awesome. So we go into like this back little corner, like next to these huge fridges, which I was like, why are there fridges here? But um, <laughs> so we go into the back corner and it's like completely wrapped in plastic. Like they literally were like, what do we do with this corner? And, uh, and so he pulled all the plastic off and he told me the price. It was way, it was like the same height, but way like, I want to say like 50% or 60% cheaper than what any of the other ones I had seen so far were. I was like, done. So if you guys want to see it, oh! Oh, he's gonna love this. He's just gonna love this. And from here, he's probably gonna be able to jump up to my head. I mean, I mean, he, he's a kitty. And, of course, the litter box, which they had an option that involved green, so that, that happened. But, yeah, so I, uh... My FPS. My screensaver has been doing this lately. So normally it's like the little bubbles and they just kind of, like, float around all happy, like I've shown you guys before. But lately, it's been doing... This spazzy nonsense. Whatever this is, I'm really not sure, but it's it's a fancy form of spaz, so. Anywho. I'm glad that I called them, because I think otherwise they were just, it was in a trash pile somewhere, maybe. 
uh, and really excited to go and get my kitty tomorrow and be like, hey, where's Shana? Can you want to hang out? I really wanted to get it on Saturday so that I would have all of Sunday to just like hang out with the cat and be like, welcome <laughs> to your home places. Um, but this is fine. I can just get off work early. And I, I go into work later than most people do, so. Yeah. Oh, he's going to be so happy. He's going to have such a great life with people who love him. Hmm. But yeah, what else did we do? Um... I watched Being Human for, I tried, I tried the show Being Human, the UK version, not the US version. I tried the first episode a long time ago, and I was like, oh, this is good, but I never kept watching it. And I watched a random episode with everybody else, um, like, in the middle of the second season, and I was like, this show gets, this show gets pretty good. It's angsty. It's like teen drama style, except with supernatural beings and everybody's an adult. Like, it was the weirdest thing. I was watching it and I was like, man, everybody's angsty! Everybody's dealing with all their shenanigans. It's... It seems like it's a pretty good show, though, so I might, I might have to give that a full-on college try. Ah, uh, But other than that... Not much. Um, got to play some Sherlock today. And a little bit of Skyrim. And I took a nap. Apparently this week I am not destined to have just a day where I feel great all day because my stomach started hurting around like five-ish. And I was like, ugh. So I took a shower and then I fell asleep. And I was like, okay. So I slept for a while. And now um, it's like midnight, which is just gravy. Which means that I'm probably going to be awake for a while. No curses. Oh, but what can you do? And apparently my mom got home safe. My mom has been uh, visiting my grandpa and she got home safe. So yay, yay, yay. I love you, mommy. I'm glad you're home safe. Um, and yeah. That's about everything that went on with me today. Not a whole lot. It's really hot in the house right now, which is like the opposite problem that we've been having. <laughs> Normally it's been like, kind of chilly in the house. Not like so chilly that we can't just deal with it, but like a little bit chilly in the house. And I think somebody turned on the heat, because my room feels too hot. Too hot. So the second I'm done filming this, I'm turning off all the lights. Every light. Huh. <sighs> yeah. I've started to do this thing. So my papa, my grandpa on my mom's side, whenever he's he's um, mostly deaf, and whenever he sighs, he makes a sound while he's sighing, and I've started to do it, and I have no idea why. But like he'll when he sighs, he'll go, <sighs> and I've started doing this, and it's out of the blue. Like I noticed it while I was walking down the street the other day that I was like, hmm. <sighs> to myself and I went, no self, you cannot start doing this. This is a terrible, terrible thing. And I keep doing it and I keep trying to stop my, when I notice I'm doing it, I stop myself and I'm like, why did this suddenly start happening? It's not like I've been around Papa in forever. I haven't been around him in so long, but, <laughs> but apparently now I'm big into the, the sigh sounds. <sighs> He's done them for years. He's done that for years. He also burps really loudly, but I think I've told you guys about that. So if I can, if I can get the, the, uh, the, the sigh sounds down, and then if I can get the really loud belches down, then I'll be good. Oh, also, I need to start putting napkins in the collar of my shirt. I love Papa. He is, like, the coolest dude ever. And whenever he does that, I go, you know, it's a smart thing to do. <laughs> Like, it really, you know, having it on your lap, sometimes things still get on your shirt. So why not just put it on your shirt, right? I approve. I approve of this message. This Papa message. Oh. Hmm. What to do now that I'm wide awake? Oh. Maybe I'll film more Sherlock. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll play some more of that. I think I figured out, I got stuck at the end of the last one that I, that I uploaded today. I got, like, 
I, op I opened up a puzzle and I got like kind of confused. And this happens a lot where I, I start... I open up a possible puzzle or something that I don't immediately understand and then I'll go, well, it's been about 20 minutes so I'll just stop. And then right after I stop it, I think to myself, oh, I think I know how to do that. <laughs> like I get kind of distracted by going, oh, it's probably time that I stop anyway. And then the second it's done, I f like kind of figure it out or I think I've figured it out. So yeah, we'll have to see if I'm correct next time. Next time. but. Yeah. So I hope you guys had a good weekend. I had a I had a pretty good weekend. And I'm really excited to get Sherlock Cat and go on all sorts of the mysteries with him. Um but yeah. I will talk to you guys again tomorrow. Okay. Bye bye. Mwah!